everyone, we're going to sketch the region enclosed by the curves and lines and integrate with respect to x. Also find the area of the region. Now we've got a lot going on here, so before we graph this or sketch the graph, let's find the intersection between these two. So basically what you're going to do is solve for y. So um, you're going to have 1 fourth x squared equals now, if you saw for y here, this is going to be uh, negative x plus 3. And that's going to give you x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And I just multiplied everything through by 4. When you factor this, you're going to get this equals um, x plus 6 times x minus 2 equals 0. So you get x equals negative 6 or 2. This is negative 6. We don't want the negative 6 because we want x is greater than or equal to 0. Alright, so at uh, 2, if x is 2, then our y is going to be uh, 1. So we have 2 comma 1. That's one intersection point. Now let's compare um, uh, 2x squared with this one. So we have 2x squared equals negative x plus 3. That's going to give you 2x squared plus x minus 3 equals 0. Therefore, you're going to get 2x plus 3 times x minus 1 equals 0. This one again is going to give you a negative uh, number, so we don't really want that. We have x equals 1. So if x is 1 and you substitute it back in, you're going to get 2 for your y. I just substitute it back in there. All right, now that we have that, um, let's go ahead and uh, sketch the graphs. Or the graph. All right. So we have. Uh, let me just go ahead and write the intersection points. One comma two. And two comma one. So those are going to be the intersection points. That's going to help us sketch it. So the first one we have x plus y equals uh, three or uh, y equals uh, negative x plus 3. So we're going to go up to 3 here, and it's negative. So that's going to go down to 3 here. So there's that line. All right. Now, um, the second one, we have y equals 2x squared. So that means we start at 0, and at 1, it's going to go to 2. It's going to be that quadratic that goes up this way. All right, the next one is y equals 1 fourth x squared. So that one, what color can I use, red? All right, for that one is 1 fourth x squared. So at 1, let's see what happens at 2 it's going to go to 1, so it goes to there. And again, it starts at 0. So did I get everything? And also, we're in quadrant 1, basically. So this is the shaded region we want, right in here. I did these in different colors on purpose because we have to set up our upper and lower limits, and we're going to have to subtract. So first, let's go from 0 to 1. We go to 0 to 1 because we have all these uh, boundaries here. 0 to 1. The upper boundary for uh, 0 to 1, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a little line here. So we're looking at this shaded region. The upper bound for this is the green, and that is this one. So you write 2x squared. The lower bound for this is the red one. 
it's red. The red one is this one. So you subtract minus 1 fourth x squared dx. Then we're going to add from 1 to 2. So we're going to go from 1 to 2. Now for this one, the upper bound for this is the yellow. So for the yellow, you're just going to write negative x plus 3. The lower bound is the red. So that's going to be, uh, you subtract minus 1 fourth x squared. All right, so this is your yellow. And then you go dx. And I'm sorry it's going in there. I'm going to clean it up in just a minute. So let me clean this up a little bit. So we have the integral from 0 to 1. This piece here is going to be 7 divided by 4x squared uh, dx. I'm going to erase this and this part. All right. Um, this part here, I'm going to straighten up a little bit so you can see it. It's going to be from 1 to 2. And this is a plus. We're going to have negative 1 fourth x squared <coughs> minus x plus 3 dx. All right. Let's integrate this. And we'll get um, 7 twelfths x cubed, and we're evaluating from 0 to 1, plus negative 1 twelfth x cubed minus 1 half x squared plus 3x. And this is going from, we're going to evaluate from 1 to 2. All right, now I'm going to write this again. I'm sorry because I'm running out of room, and then we'll just evaluate it. So let's see what we get. I'm going to write it down really fast. Um, 7 divided by 12x cubed, going from 0 to 1, plus negative 1 divided by 12x cubed, minus 1 half x squared, plus 3x. And we're going from 1 to 2. All right, so let's do this piece. This piece is just going to be 7 twelfths. And then you have minus 0, so we don't need to put that. And then plus. Now, for the 2, you're going to get uh, negative 2 thirds minus 2 plus 6. Then we're going to minus, substitute in the 1. You substitute in the 1, you get negative one twelfth minus one half plus three. All right, if you just want to put all this in the calculator or you can get common denominator, I think it's easier to put in the calculator. This is all going to equal three divided by two. And that's your area of the region. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.